cancer, my cancers. What's up, water babies? Whoosh pop. What's going down in the life of a cancer between this mid month of August? Hmm. 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 Are y'all loving yourselves? Y'all just have to walk away from somebody. But it's opening up doors. Let's rock. This is for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as cross rosters for the sign of cancer. Hey, my babies. Um, if this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, boo, hey. Welcome to the Mocha Loves Hero channel. Also, to all of my new subscribers, old subscribers, y'all, welcome to the family new subscribers. We don't fuss. We might cuss a little bit up in this month. We cuss. We don't judge, okay? We definitely share. We love, we enlighten, we uplift, we family up in here, okay? So welcome home, look, welcome, welcome home, family. I receive you, and I pray that you receive my light as well. Makes me happy at what night. Um, <laughs> but also, um, this is not a personal reading, it's a general. If you do need that personal, please hit me up. That information will be found in the description. Also, cancel, don't forget, y'all have the $40 reading special for the 30 minutes uh, up until the 25th of this month. So y'all better get it in because... This girl doesn't allow herself to get back the hell up with. As far as reading goes, if you uh, if you email me today, chances are I'll email you back today, and that the latest that we'll set it up will be the following day. We don't we don't wait forever. So do 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 please get your uh, do your personal readings, the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the love. Thank you, thank y'all. It really really warms my heart. I truly appreciate that. Y'all, we didn't hit okay. This this girl is growing. Oh, are we growing? We evolving. We we gaining our wisdom. Okay, we are enlightened during this time. Come on, counselors, come through. All right. So, I don't know you don't like long intros. I don't need them to be rocking. All right. So for cancers, we're starting off with the crystal angels, Doreen Virtue, um, or cards. The message that wanted to pop off for you guys was turquoise, spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. This card comes to you because you've been praying and meditating about your spiritual path. You may be feeling conflicts with your true beliefs, wondering whether to take a traditional or alternative route. Perhaps you've been studying or attending different religious or spiritual or spiritual groups, trying to see where you fit in and find other people aligned with your values. Your religious upbringing and family culture are factors here. While you would like to make your spiritual path decisions independently, you find yourself being influenced by your past. You also want to make a right choice that is best for your soul, and you do recognize that some traditional beliefs have merit. Even when people have the same religious faith, they have different interpretations. It's unlikely that any two individuals agree on every aspect of religion or spirituality. Because it's a deeply, uh, deeply ex personal experience, your life lessons continue to shape your beliefs. So keep praying and following your guidance. Finding people who have similar or complementary beliefs, even if they're not identical, can lead to the deep friendships and help you navigate your own spiritual path. This card is also about a relationship that is experiencing conflicts because partners have differences, sorry, different religious or spiritual convictions. This is a challenging situation for both people, and it needs to be handled with prayer and often with counseling. Okay, so some of y'all, you have mamas, uncles, daddy, cousins, whomever, okay, trying to tell you what you should believe in and they want you to go on a traditional route. A lot of y'all are awakening during this time and having a spiritual awakening. So you coming into your own truth. Like, hell no, your truth is not my truth. And you understand by that because that is the authentic you. Okay. Expansion is what makes us actually be able to ascend in this journey. All right. So cancers out the gate. Some of y'all had to walk away from somebody. Y'all got people coming back from your past. Okay. But some of y'all is somebody during this time. It's somebody that is. Somebody, y'all got a fast talker coming back, okay? I feel like this person, real fast talker, they have a, the, the gift of finesse is what I call it. If you don't know what the word finesse means, ask, ask, ask one of your soul family up in here. They will definitely tell you what the word finesse means. I would call them a slide talker, okay? Y'all are gaining wisdom and have gained wisdom through the people in your life, okay? With, with The lesson is who not to let into your life, okay? Some of y'all, you got to watch the snakes during this time. But some of y'all have someone who you really love, this person. You love this person's dirty draws, but this person is sneaky as hell. And I feel like we're dealing with this karmic partner, okay, that keeps coming back during this time. I feel like for some of y'all, it's the anniversary of something, okay? Comment, let me know, because I keep hearing anniversary. Um, but it's the an anniversary of something. And 
with this past life energy that's going on with the dark phases of the moon, this new, uh, this full moon in Pisces, it's a very karmic time. 8-8 eight, eight with 2018's master number 11 here, okay? Two, balance, okay? So balancing out past life karmas. A lot of y'all are jumping those hurdles during this time, okay? But your integrity is what's going to bring you the abundance that the creator is trying to open up for you, okay? The most High God trying to give you some abundance, baby. All right, and we're doing so. Some of y'all got to let some people go. Some of y'all got to let some of them fast talkers go. Matters not the relation, okay? But during this time, because you've taken the time to learn the lesson and not dwell dwell in your feelings about a situation, okay? Or this could be the other person outside in your energy, but I'm hearing strongly this is for cancers. A lot of y'all have opened up the door and walked into the door of abundance, okay? So during this time, it's going to be a very fruitful time. Watch your thoughts, okay? Because you will manifest them within your reality. Some of y'all are going to uh, be finding out that y'all having babies during this time. Congratulations, boo. Somewhat. What's going on with all these babies in this room? This is not me doing this purposely, okay? Y'all, Y'all is out here... Busting it open and having babies, family. Don't don't play, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with it. Mocha love the kids, right? Some of y'all during this time are possibly kind of stepping into your own power, okay? I feel like somebody took your ability to love. Somebody really made you feel very low in the past. Some of y'all are finding that self-worth, your beauty, okay, during this time. You're finding the beauty within the self. Some of y'all are falling in love with yourself during this time. And it's a beautiful thing. Some of y'all are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? And this person possibly didn't see you before or didn't, could not appreciate your worth. But during this time, this person is coming back very loving. And for some of y'all, you know, this could be this sneaky-ass person, okay? And this sneaky-ass person, sometimes they don't know how to talk. They talk to the left, to the left. And sometimes you got to get them right. That's period, all right? So I do feel with this King of Water, some of y'all could also be dealing with, a, um, with the Pisces during this time or... Could be wanting to bring in abundance with the Pisces or Scorpio. This is strong Pisces vibes, but it could be another cancer like yourself as well. But the ultimate goal is self-love. Some of y'all are learning self-love. Okay, self-love, not living in indulgence with the situations that you've been through in the past. You're not living in this place of puncturing and hurt, okay? But you're living in a place you learn from it, okay? This sword here, you were going through lessons. This was the past, okay? Going forward, I'm trying to be upright. <clears throat> I'm still going to attain my righteousness, but I ain't with the shits, period, okay? Some of y'all definitely dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay, or just a sneaky-ass individual, okay? And you're having to choose yourself during this time because this person, I feel like as much as you want them to grow and be this renewed person, every time they come back, it's like, just when I thought you couldn't get no damn lower on me, you fucking dug a tunnel. Who does that? You know, so some of y'all are going to be possibly defending yourself, standing standing your ground with an air sign during this time. Some of y'all are going to be moving away from a soulmate. This could be another water sign like yourself or earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, okay? Some of y'all don't know if you want to put in the work, if you want to just keep moving, okay? Because you're finding this new, this new and improved self-love. And with walking into that vibration and finding that self-love, some of y'all like, I could do better. What? Okay. Hold on one second. Y'all got flyers. Some of y'all have a family dynamic with somebody that's very, very either cutting with words. I feel like they're very sneaky. They're very emotionally manipulative. Okay. They a finesse. Somebody know how to finesse. They know how to put words together to make you feel like they bring you the moon and the stars. Okay. But this damn person ain't doing nothing but bring your ass some type of little globe. All right. This, this, they don't, they're not, they're not bringing you the real deal. Some of y'all are going to be reuniting uh, with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You want a uh, family dynamic with this person. You want to offer this person something new. Okay. But some of y'all, you feel like someone, some of y'all feel like you didn't get the justice. You didn't, you're not getting justice and love. You're not getting the efforts back with the work that you put in with somebody. Some of y'all are walking away from the idea of reconnecting with somebody, especially if this person is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Yes, yeah. Some of y'all want to re reunite with someone that's a fire sign, but this person, they come in, it's like they leave your life, okay? You nurture them back up in, in, into this whole, this whole loving creature again, and then... They leave your ass in the dirt. Some of y'all just like, no, not with the shits. Some of y'all putting y'all foot down. Good shit, cancer. Yeah. Some of y'all are moving away from an Aries, okay? You don't know if you want to put the work in with this person 
because you know this person is your soulmate, all right? Some of y'all want to take that leap of faith and make an offer to this person, okay? But you're kind of indecisive, or maybe this person is indecisive. Some of y'all are going to find out that this person has another person. It's either, uh, it could be you and another earth sign, or you and another fire sign. Some of y'all are definitely going to be coming out of this, coming out of this period of indecision, because I feel like this person come in, they put that, they they put that loving on you, okay? And they leave you all twisted, okay? Because I feel like with fire signs, we don't love, I'm an Aries, so we don't love, we don't love, we don't love, we love holy, okay? But we love from a place of action more so. We're more action oriented, okay? And if you kind of caught in your feelings, then the action might just slide right past you because we're not the type of people to wait on anybody, okay? And that's, that's not to say that we're bad people. It's just to say that, Fire signs are more so what I want for the moment right then and if it can't if it can't be delivered, okay? And if you're allowing a fire sign to run over you, people are gonna only do what you allow. It don't it don't matter what the damn sign is, okay? So this is totally up to you, all right? Some of y'all some of y'all wanna marry somebody. Some of y'all wanna offer um possibly an Aries marriage. Okay, this could also be a tourist. Some of y'all actually want to reconnect with a tourist that's a soulmate. You want to go into a new cycle with this person. Some of y'all are going to be going into a new cycle uh, with someone from the past. All right. Whoever this is, they definitely have strong twin flame soulmate energies. All right. So let's see. And I feel like for some of y'all, this is just a thought. The action hasn't been put forth, whether it's just you or the other person. Okay, for some of y'all, whoever's dealing with this Virgo, baby, this Virgo is loving and missing on you. They don't know what they want to do. If they pull back, they've not pulled back because they're interested in going somewhere else. For some of y'all, yes, they did. Okay, but for some of y'all, they didn't pull back to cheat on you. I feel like this this person is trying to get out of their own way. You know, they're they may not have acknowledged the ego didn't allow them to acknowledge the efforts that you put in. Okay, but I feel like going forward. They may not tell you I was listening to you, but their actions will show you that when they return. Okay, watch them though, because for some of y'all they still sneaky. Spirit, please clarify the world card. Cancer. Yeah, wheel of fortune. Damn, y'all got the wheel of fortune. Some of y'all are ending cycles, okay, ending karmic cycles and going to another one. For some of y'all who've been dealing with a Leo or a Taurus, some of y'all are coming out of a very karmic cycle during this time, okay, and some of y'all are going to be moving on to another water baby like yourself. Or Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of y'all are going to be, I feel like, like I said, but some of y'all, this is just thoughts. These are just ruminating thoughts. I want to do this one minute. You want to walk away from somebody. The next minute, you just like, oh, no, I love them. I have to hold on. And I feel like some of y'all, this love feels very obsessive. If a person is not giving you what you give them back, why? 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 And I ain't got to elaborate on that shit. Y'all already know why I'm going with that. Why the seven of swords here, spirit? Oh, yeah. Someone, uh, possibly a fire sign, you feel like this person, like I said, some of y'all feel like you're not getting justice in love during this time. You feel like this person moved on with someone else, a happy family dynamic, and possibly reunited with someone from their past or walked away from you to go reunite with someone or, or unite with someone that's new. Possibly a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Leo. But this person is having victory and moving forward. And to be honest with y'all, some of y'all are going to receive well some form of communication. This person may... Um, actually come in and tell you this during this time. And I feel like this is going to balance out the karmic skills and allow you to actually move forward and choose yourself this time. Some of y'all are waiting to communicate with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person is coming in, but when this person come in, y'all, for some of them, they want sex, okay? For some of them, you've been actually tied to this person just having sex. This person hasn't offered you majorly anything in the past but sex, okay? And for some of y'all, some of y'all are moving into a beautiful family dynamic with a Libra. Some of y'all are divorcing a Libra or going through some sort of divorce with a Libra or some type of child support. But again, I, I feel like some of y'all feel like you're not getting the justice and love. You feel like, how the hell this person go on and move on and give somebody else everything I want? For some of y'all, you're going to find out um, that somebody else moved on. Aries Leo Sash could have moved on. Or this could be another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person could even have water in their moon. Um, but I do see that 
this person has a new beginning. And I feel like some of y'all intuitively already know, but you're just waiting to hear this person tell you. Some of y'all have been trying to put in the... I feel like somebody... Somebody... what? Some Okay. Earth sign or air. Cancel. Somebody... One person has been focusing strictly on work just to get past indecision. And that will continue during this time. I feel like one person is focused on money and another person is in their head like, oh my God, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You wanted to make an offer to reunite with somebody. Definitely. If I a lot of fire in y'all, uh, in y'all cards, a fire sign. Yeah. But again, that indecision is causing, it's, it's kind of causing you some mental conflict. Okay. For some of y'all, you're definitely in a three party situation. Okay. This person has to make a decision on which way that they want to go, okay? And the karmic skills are balanced when this person communicates that with you. It's how you how you respond, how you react or respond, okay? I would prefer you to respond, not react, because y'all get crazy sometimes. Don't go to jail water, baby. All right, some of y'all are walking away from your past due to the fact that there's not an equal give and take, okay? But some of y'all in Aries definitely left you out in the cold, possibly for um a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or a water sign, one of the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all have a Taurus that don't know how to talk to you. Get they ass in line. Castle don't take that shit. Okay. Why is two of cups here? Why is the two of cups here? Why is the two of cups here? Why is the two of cups here? Yeah. Some of y'all, you, uh, your, your soulmate is a Leo. Uh, Aries or Sag, okay, you know that this is your soulmate or your twin flame, but you have to move away from this person in order to uh, gain your own abundance, so this person has moved away from you to move towards abundance, okay, but some of y'all, this person moved away because they had a lot of options, okay, um, or maybe you feel like this person has a lot of options, but it's really driving you crazy because they're a soulmate, some of y'all are dealing with the Scorpio, I'll heal, gonna break loose, okay, during this Pisces full moon, y'all come in and let me know. And I told y'all my, my personal readers is good. So y'all so y'all hit me up if you need me. Because some of y'all finna need me. Um, Yeah, Aries Neil Sag. Some of y'all got to let go this fire sign. Because I feel like this person leaves you in a state of indecision. I don't know what I want to do, Mocha. And I feel like it's toxic. Some of y'all during this time are going to come out of toxicity. Okay, and move forward possibly with an earth sign. And y'all going to get your just doing love, all right? You're going to be able to stop putting your expectations and the things that you expect out of love, abundance, anything, and in the sight of just one person, okay, or one thing or one place. Be open to the universe to receive <clears throat> from any, pretty much from any source because how this is looking, what you thought you was getting from one person, you're going to get what you want because you're definitely manifesting at a great pace. I, I do want y'all to watch y'all thoughts. That's very, very, very important. You're manifesting at a, at, at a very great rate, but, but you're not going to have the face that you expect on your outcome because this journey is about learning lessons and knowing when to be received, be, be, be an open to your blessings because you can see them based off of the things that you've gone through. You've gone through hell. So you should damn sure be able to recognize when heaven is opening up the gates for you, baby. All right. This is what I have for y'all mid-month uh, August from the 18th to the 31st. Y'all, I'm a little late, but I have to, I have a life too. Okay. So I love y'all very much. If you need that personal, hit me up. Toodles water, babies.